G'day champion, how are you? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic Saturday Sorcery. My name of course is Bo Creamer. Thank you so much for joining me on this absolutely beautiful Saturday. Now you've just seen our good friend Ding Ding perform his Parasite 2.0 effect. Now before we learn how to do this incredible piece of magic and how to build the gimmicks, I do want to tell you about this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the card gimmick bundle, so if you love building gimmicks, then this is the bundle for you. If you want to learn how to enter this competition, stick around to later on in the episode where I show you how to enter that giveaway. Now let's jump over to Ding Ding where he's going to teach you how to build your gimmick and then perform it. Ding Ding, over to you my friend. Okay guys, welcome to the party seat. So this is um, a very special gimmick and with a uh, cool, pretty simple to produce a uh, for black dot. Uh, so actually I use for black stickers. Okay. Uh, so for this gimmick, you need three regular cards, elastic theater, uh, needle, and uh, um, painter. So this painter, uh, you can see I can paint a hole. The diameter of this hole is one centimeter. Uh, also, I use the sticker is uh, one centimeter. Uh, they are matching perfectly. Okay. Uh, so what I mean is, uh, look this paper. I can use a sticker, a stick on top perfectly. Okay, like this. Uh, if you don't have this smaller sticker and you can use a big one, uh, then cut all the useless part. Also, you can get uh, a small one, okay? Uh, but anyway, I just uh, find these two materials on the store, so it will be very convenient. And also, you need a knife and a um, small pincher. Um, now, let's to learn how to make it. Okay, we just start with these three cards. Uh, so the first step is you need to make a flap card, okay? Uh, the gimmick is double back version. So I use the back. Uh, I just uh, cut a line, but do not cut it off. Okay, cut a line and follow it. You, so you can get a curve like this, and you do the same thing with the second curve. Okay. Uh, so now, make sure these two cards face to face. Okay, uh, just to stick this side. So I use the glue stick. Just the stick, just the stick this part, okay? Okay, now with your needle, you can see here, uh, this corner, we punch two holes on these two corners, okay? And also do the same thing uh, with this corner, okay? And this corner, okay. Now I use double stick tape. So with my mustard, you can hide all the elixir and between the card, okay. Okay, like this. So 
so I start from the back and through to the face. And through back to the this side. Okay. Now make a knot. Uh, you should bet tie it uh, five or six times. It will it would be better. Okay. Now peeling off the paper of the double stick tape. Uh, you can see I just keep some. Uh, space between these two double stick tape. So uh, I uh, will not stick the elastic yet. Okay, now stick this part. Okay, now the next step, we use the elastic seared again. Uh, this tab way from the back again, and we only throw the bottom part. Okay. We only throw this part and make a tall, make a tie, sorry. Cut off the useless part. Now put this piece of tape under the elast elastic seared, okay? Put the tape under the elastic seared. Now you squeeze this part. Okay, now your flap card is finished, okay? You can see, uh, you really can, uh, can see the Elastic, okay. Elastic theater, okay. Uh, so that's my uh, most how to hide uh, the elastic elastic theater, okay. Sorry for my English. Uh, and now let's to go over the next step. Okay, the so next step uh, we need to use uh, the fishing line, okay, um, and a little clip and your pincher, okay? Uh, so the first step, open your flap car, okay? Open your flap car. And uh, this part, uh, we stick uh, very, uh, very hard, okay? And this part can open like this, okay? Uh, so we need to open and clip these two part, okay? Clip this part and we will use these three white line to hide the fishing line, okay? Uh, so what I do is, I uh, watch the Andrew's little hand, okay? I just punch a hole uh, from his uh, little arm here, okay? Maybe you can uh, a little bit here. Okay, you can see? And do the same thing with the bottom part, okay? Okay, just paint one hole, two hole, okay? And now, uh, with your painter, you need to paint a hole like this and use a Sharpie, okay? Watch. Uh, so I will take uh, four sticks here, 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 and here. Uh, that means these four corners. Uh, but uh, the first, so I will do like this. I just put it here and black it. And now you need to punch um, three holes on a random card and stick uh, three stickers to make a uh, like this, okay? Uh, 
Uh, so you will get three stickers like this, okay? Uh, and by the way, the bottle hole must lower than this mark, okay? Uh, this black dot, okay? Uh, you need to take a random card and you need to uh, watch carefully and this part, the position, okay? Uh, you need to punch a uh, same position hole, okay? Uh, I think it's like this, okay? Part like this, so that you can cover uh, this black dot. So that's the uh, secret, okay? So now we will use the finishing line. So I start from the back. Uh, make a knot. Oh, cut off the useless part. Now with your uh, smaller pencil, I just punch some papers and put put the fishing line knot under uh, the paper. Okay. So I take one piece of paper, put it under, under the knot. Now I will use super glue. You can see. And one drop of super glue. And now you use the second, second one to stick on top. Okay, now you can see uh, we do a switch so we can move uh, like a button to top to a bottle like this. Okay, and now I use a stick again, okay? Use a stick again, but we don't need too much, just a little bit. So I cut like a small square I put the sticker uh, face down under under the under the fishing line and uh, so cover like this, okay. Okay, from now on, uh, your gimmick is already built up. Now let's talk about how to perform it. Have you seen last week's free tutorial yet? Make sure you do card on screen right now or the link is in the description. Make sure you check it out. It's an absolute feast for the eyes and it's completely free. Go treat yourself. Now I'm so sorry, ding ding. I need to drop for just a second for the mid episode giveaway. But before we get into this week's giveaway, we need to find out who won last week's bundle. So drum roll, please. That was a crazy drum roll. <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. You're the winner of last week's bundle. So if you could email me just here, I'll get that prize out to you quicker than you can say, hey, Bo, I've liked this video because I know it helps out the video loads and it lets YouTube know that other legends like myself want to see this video. So I'll probably suggest it to them. You're an absolute smart person and a legend. So thank you so much. Now onto this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the card gimmick bundle, all you need to do is let me know in the comment section below what card you would build this into. The Seven Hearts, Four of Clubs, Queen of Spades. Let me know in the comment section below what you will build it into. I'll choose someone out at random and you'll be announced in next week's video. So good luck. All right, champion, ready to check out more videos just like this one? Make sure you check out our YouTube channel where we drop new videos every single day. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe because why not save yourself coming back later? Okay. Uh, for the performance, so basically this idea just uh, special for the social media and uh, uh, it really doesn't have any uh, routine for this big, um, for this gimmick is just, um, you know, uh, the video show. Uh, so, but uh, the pre symbol of how to uh, produce one, uh, sticker 
uh, maybe it can give you some some uh, inspiration. Okay, uh, so first I use the restickable stick glue. Okay, uh, of course you can use the double stick tape or something like that. Uh, the first, uh, you need to make four uh, these like this. Okay, uh, it's only three, so I need to. Uh, make one Okay So use the wrist wrist tick ball glue Okay, I stick here uh, So the effect uh, so basically like a matrix, okay of coin matrix, but is use the sticker I uh, use one to produce four, okay. Uh, so that's the setup. You uh, stick the four sticks on each corner, and then you close your flap card, okay. You hold the card like this, and now you can see the button uh, is just rest uh, under your forefinger. So you can pull it down like this, and uh, the cover will move up. So you cover like this move up one black dot appear uh, but at the beginning you use one sticker okay you can you can stick on your arm or your table so at the first you um show is just look uh look like a normal card with nothing so you take out uh, one sticker and uh, stick on the cover okay uh, you stick on the top of the cover so from the camera the audience will see you just uh, stick a a real stick here okay and you pull the button down so it looks like this one sticker uh, become two. Okay, it looks very very good. And then you release the flap and change to the four. Okay, change to the four stickers. So one more time, one more card, and you take about one black uh, sticker, and you stick on the cover. So the audience will see is only one dot, and you. Uh, push the button and produce uh, another one and shake release change to four sticks okay and the good thing is you can uh, remove one remove two and remove three and remove four okay it looks very amazing and uh, uh, so anyway, it doesn't have any uh, exclusively a routine for your real performance, but I think uh, this system um, can give you some uh, inspiration. Okay, that's the Barcid gimmick, and I hope you enjoy this idea, and I'm Ding Ding, see you next time. There you go, that's Parasite 2.0. Thank you so much, Ding Ding. I really appreciate it, my friend. Now, if you do have any questions on this piece of magic, please throw them in the comment section below. Use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now, also, if you wanna see some more Ding Ding, link in the description below as well to all of his releases. He does some incredible, insane gimmick builds. Make sure you check him out, show him some love, and just enjoy what he does. He is an absolute genius. Now, my friend, I will let you get back to your Saturday. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks again, Ding Ding, for teaching us Parasite 2.0. I'll see you on our Discord right now if you want to come hang out, have a jam, trivia, games, giveaways. I'll see you there. Link in the description below right now to our Discord. Otherwise, I'll see you next Saturday for another Saturday Sorcery, on Tuesday for a deal a dam, or on Wednesday for another What's New This Week. Now, take care. See you later. Bye for now. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's that? Oh, you should definitely check out that. Oh, there's so much good magic in there. You won't regret it. Hey, whoa, hey, look at this bad boy. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, then watch that. Oh, it's a good day to treat yourself.